Welcome everyone, looking at triage in emergency. So what are the objectives of uh, this talk? To define the major objectives of triage and the role of triage within the emergency medical system. So to define the major types of triage practices, to describe and apply the CAPE triage scoring system, to apply the nursing process when analyzing the triage case scenario, to delineate the nursing process during triage, to predict CAPE triage score when presented with specific information regarding the patient's history and consider age specific factors, then to empower the staff including the nurses with the knowledge to become skilled at triage. So first thing is, so what is triage? Triage is the process of determining the priority of patient treatments based on the severity of their condition. This rationalizes patient treatment efficiently when the resources are insufficient for all to be treated immediately. The term comes from the French verb trier, meaning to separate, sort, sift or select. What are the purpose and benefits? It expedites the delivery of time-critical treatment for patients with life-threatening conditions. To secure all people require emergency care are appropriately categorized according to the clinical condition to improve the patient flow, improve satisfaction of the patient, decrease patient's overall length of stay, facilitate streaming of less urgent patients, to be user-friendly for all levels of healthcare professionals. As a triage nurse, nurse, the roles are to competently assess all incoming patients to be properly placed in categories according to the triage early warning scores, TEWS triage early warning score. Nursing qualifications are ideally the nurse should have worked in emergency department for a minimum of six months. A nurse must go through the emergency department orientation program. A nurse must complete at least four months rotation through the various hospitals, including the ED. Now, the significance of nurses in the triage process compared to other countries whose doctor to nurses ratio ranges from 1 to 4 to 1 to 16. Uh, for example, in South Africa, the ratio of doctors to nurses is 1 is to 8. Thus, the nurses have a critical role in assisting the physicians in assessing the patients for initial treatment as well as an ongoing delivery of care. Now, assessment is a critical tool. Across the room, assessment is very important. So, what are some of the symptoms or physical signs that you can assess from across the room? Currently utilized triage systems include the Canadian Triage and Equity Scale, the Emergency Severity Index, Australian Triage Index. All right, so what is the Canadian Triage and Equity Scale National Guidelines? CTAS Level 1 is patients need to be seen by a physician immediately 98% of the time. CTAS Level 2 is that patients need to be seen by a physician within 15 minutes or 95% of the time. CTAS Level 3 is that patients need to be seen by a physician within 30 minutes 90% of the time. C test level 4, patients need to be seen by the physician within 60 minutes, 85% of the time. C test level 5, patients need to be seen by a physician within 120 minutes or 80% of the time. That's Canadian Triage and Equity Scale National Guideline C test. Or an Emergency Severity Index. Emergency Severity Index is a five-level tool for use in emergency department triage. Experienced ER nurses use the Emergency Severity Index to rate the patient's equity on a scale of 1 to 5. Emergency Severity Index Level 1 Immediate life-saving intervention is required. Level 2 is a high-risk situation, so a confused, lethargic or disoriented patient Multiple sources are required in level 3. Consider upgrading level 2 if vital signs are in the danger zones. Level 4 is one source is required. And level 5 is no resources are needed. So this is very, very important. Level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 
most of the patient depending on which emergency you're working would be in level three or four then you have a south africa triad score in 2004 the south africa triad group formerly known as the cape triad group was convened under the auspices of the joint division of emergency medicine and the university of cape town the aim of the south africa triad score in the South Africa triad group was to produce a triad score for use throughout South Africa. Okay, so the key concepts in triage: red, red versus resuscitation, acute versus chronic, children and infants, and the twos calculator. Now there are three versions of stats: infant, children, and adult. Two's calculator is consists of two parts, vital signs and mobility. If the vital signs are within normal limits and the patient is alert and ambulatory with no trauma, the score will be zero. The score will increase or decrease depending upon the factors and whether they are too high, too low, if the trauma has occurred or if they need assistance with mobility. Physiological symptoms affected by vital signs blood pressure and heart rate monitor the cardiovascular system respiratory rate monitors the respiratory system temperature monitors the thermoregulatory system avpu monitors the overall central nervous system mobility monitors the musculoskeletal system trauma refers to the presence of any injury the second discriminator is the part that generates the actual triage color red orange yellow green or blue it will determine the severity level and essentially when the patient will be attended to. The discriminators are again broken into three categories. Infant, children, adults. Okay. Important to have a stepwise approach for triage. Step one is to take a brief history directed at the main complaint and document this. Step two is measure vital signs and document the findings. Step three is calculate the twos and document the total value. Step four is match the scores to the discriminator list and observe the discriminator list for possible discriminators and not pick them by the twos. Step five is document the triage code and act accordingly. Now a decision regarding the equity of the patient conditions should not be made until the whole stepwise approach has been completed. The history is the main presenting complaint. The information can be obtained by questioning the patient, the escort, or by reading the referral letter. Now, always ask the question, what's your emergency or what brings you to the hospital today? Observation is important. So, blood pressure, heart rate, respirations, temperature, pain, and AVPU scale. Mobility is observed by no noting the mode in which the patient has to be mobilized and trauma scoring assesses whether the patient has had any injuries. The history along with the vital signs must be documented. Let's have a practice scenarios. Example of a child twos. A child walks into the emergency department with a respiratory rate of 32 and heart rate of 140 temperature of 38.3 and the patient is awake and alert but color is pale and abdomen is firm and distended now when questioned the parent state he has been vomiting with for two days with right lower quadrant pain there are no signs of trauma when abdomen is touched patient screams in pain right so this is a triage early warning score in children okay so 3 to 12 years old, 96 to 150 centimeters tall. So you have to look at mobility, respiratory rate, heart rate, temperature, AVPU, and trauma. And each of them is scored as here. All right, so for this child, he walked. So zero, respiratory rate is 32, says so two. Heart rate is 140, says so two. Blood pressure not applicable. Temperature is 38.3, so is zero. AVPU, the child is awake and alert, so zero. Trauma, no signs of injury or bruising, so zero. So it's a total score of five. So what color would this be? Also, what other factors would you consider in your scoring system? So that's a color coding. So 
2 is gold, 7 or more is red, 5 to 6 is orange, yellow is 3 to 4, green is 0 to 2, and blue is dead. Pause the video here and have a look at it. Now let's have a look at adult twist calculator scoring example. An adult patient arrives in a wheelchair with a respiratory rate of 28 and a pulse of 129. The blood pressure is 298, temperature is 37 and the patient is alert and oriented. When questioned, the patient noted that there had been no trauma and no physical wounds, lacerations or bruisings were noted. So this is the twist warning score or the twist scale for adults. Again, mobility, respiratory rate, heart rate, systolic blood pressure, temperature, AVP, U and trauma. Scoring. So patients in a wheelchair, so it's 1, respiratory rate is 28, so it's 2, heart rate is 129, so it's 2, blood pressure 298, so it's 2, temperature 37 gives it a 0, AVP, U, awake and alert is a 0, trauma, no signs of injury or bruising is a 0, so total score of 7. Now what color code would this be? So the discriminators, now after the triage code according to the twist, discriminators are assessed by placing the right hand over the selected color code. Based on the history taken, the triage code may be changed to the corresponding column into the discriminator was found. Now, utilize the twist scores and also use your assessment skills, knowledge and expertise to determine whether to upgrade a patient or ask a colleague or a physician regarding a triage decision. Triaging up is essential to the process and must be done where discriminators out triage that use. Triage down is not a part of the triage provider's duty but can be done by the senior healthcare provider. Initial triage-based treatment and diagnostic tests is a first aid like splints, ice packs and pressure dressings, analgesia and antipyretic control, simple diagnostic aids, decision-making process, prioritization, time management, organization, resource utilization and follow-up. Additional responsibilities includes waiting room management, safety of waiting room patients, reassessment, privacy, communication, customer service, and management of visitors. Administrative responsibilities is safety, infection control, triage legalities, triage performance improvements, and triage data utilizations. Some endless and specific considerations cuff patient with known tuberculosis, hemorrhagic pregnant woman, concerned parent with screaming child. Triage early warning system, children, again based upon the child triad score. Then you have a triage early warning score in infants cues. Color dis designation discriminators are also divided into three categories. So they also include infant, child and adult. It's only through practice and repetition that a nurse will become skilled with triage, therefore it is encouraged that you participate in the triage process as frequently as possible in order to stay in practice and up to date. It's only through practice and repetition that a nurse will become skilled with triage, therefore it is encouraged that you participate in the triage process as frequently as possible in order to stay in practice and up to date. Summary, triage is essentially first step in the efficient and effective running of an emergency center utilized together with common sense, education and assessment skills. The SATS is an excellent tool to that can save lives and reduce mobility. Once again, thanks for watching the videos. Please keep coming back for more. Subscribe to the channel and share the videos. Do not forget to leave a comment for us.